Hello, this is Philip Stewart, here to do a quick comparison between the Galaxy Nexus and the Nexus 4. I've been using the Galaxy Nexus for six months on uh, T-Mobile, using that nice online-only $30 a month plan. Pretty happy with it. Uh, but the Galaxy Nexus was replacing my uh, camera for all my camera work, and I wanted to slightly higher quality camera uh, supposedly the Nexus 4 has it uh, haven't been able to do much direct comparison yet but uh, hopefully it will be better but I uh, just wanted to let you know some of the issues I found some pros and cons between the two first of all uh, first off the uh, the cameras mounted on the center in the Galaxy Nexus and it's off center on the Nexus 4 so I find I put my finger over the uh, lens more on the Nexus 4. That's too bad. Uh, the I like the shape of the Galaxy Nexus. This hump, this little hump on the bottom. Uh, you know, you, you put your hand in your pocket to grab the phone, and you can feel it, and you know exactly how the phone's oriented. So when you bring it out, you're, you're using it right. Where on the Nexus 4, you know, it's perfectly flat. And they're very very smooth on both sides, so really it's it's the edge is a little tapered uh, at the tops, not not too much on the sides, so it's hard to uh, pull out of your pocket and know exactly how you're holding it. Uh, the you know the screen's a little big, bigger on the Nexus Four, uh, but. Uh, it's uh, the screen's a little more washed out, and from an angle, it's not quite as good as the uh, Galaxy Nexus. So, uh, also wanted to comment on the the chargers. Here's the one that comes with the uh, Galaxy Nexus. It's got a cute little square charger that the USB plugs into, uh, but the ends are very important. This one has got. Uh, you can't tell by the shape, just the printed USB symbol, which uh, side is up to when you're connecting to your phone. So even in low light, you can probably see that symbol. Hook it up to the phone pretty easy. But on the charger.